guys so you're doing i hope you shop with outside in and i thought we should you know you know how much we love nest deck on this channel so i just thought we should now check the structure so this week remember we had um our setups you know we had our, a lot of discussions around this structure here and so far i mean currently it looks something like this and we have to try and update our you know our structures and update ourselves to what is currently happening and what is it that we can expect this week né? so let's start this is our h4 i think uh, from h4 going up that's where we get like the perfect structure then once you've decided on what you want to do you can now drop down to look for an entry that you know if you have decided that you know, I think I want to go up because of, you know, the current structure on H4 and daily, you know, on those big time frames they are saying up. Then I'll, I can just drop down to H1 and look for entry there so that my stop loss is sort of minimum, it's minimum as minimal as possible. Né? So here we did have a trend line last week, which was here. And when we drew in the trend line, the lowest point that we had was this one. And I did say that the only time you are allowed to have a new trend line bearish, it's if you do what? If you come below this of which we did now so once we go below that it means the trend line can stay there it has to accommodate the recent highs that resulted in the lower low what do i mean by that remember when you're doing the bearish trend line like i said we are joining the higher highs i mean the lower highs the lower highs lower highs so the moment we do have this low being lower than that i need to search for what the high that resulted in this move which is this high this move that made the lower low started here so it means when i'm drawing a trend line it must involve that high because what it is very significant it gave us the lower low so in this case we do have a lower low here we went below this and this started where it started there so i just need to make sure this is the last part of my trend line up until the day i do this i'm not going to involve this when i'm drawing the trend line this i'll only involve it if it gives me a low lower than the previous one then i can put the trend line there so now currently this can be our trend line we have violated its lowest point and now we bring in the trend line here on h4 we are bringing it here and this does not exist anymore remember i said once you go lower than it, a, a zone you shift you remove it it's no longer supposed to be on your on your chart and this also looks to be ordinary of why because of what because it went above so we can't put it here we have to adjust it a bit so when we adjust it we just need to make sure that where is the recent i mean remember i said when you are trading what is important it's if the price is here mark the zone above and mark the zone below so that if i get an entry there i know i'm targeting this if i get an entry here i know what i'm targeting you know mark the recent one the closest one above and the closest one below so in this case this can be the closest is quite far by the time we get there will be long outside the turn line so the current one would be the nicest or the closest one is here that's the 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 the, the barking the resistance area that we have and those ones who were looking for selling opportunities you can try and maybe you found one there maranama iwari will be tabayang it the trend line is kind of broken because remember i said now according to how i trade for me to say the trend line is broken i need to have like a candlestick like this that doesn't touch the trend line then i know the trend line is broken so if you got your cell there that that you know rejection at that uh, your resistance area there then it's fine you know you're targeting what maybe if you go down you'll find a nice area for you to exit here but it's not a good odd for you to sell because of what we are outside of the h4 trend line and remember our target as much as our target now i feel like i wish we can get inside here i wish this is the one that i've been saying each and every update that i make on nasdaq is that i wish we can get into this zone then when i'm buying i know i'm buying for long term why one on weekly nothing much has changed nothing much has changed we had a pin bar a rejection bar but i said if we form a pin bar and we don't go above it and now violate to the downside it's pointless it doesn't it sort of it's, it's like it's not there by one so remember if i pin bar like in this case this it, it shows what bearish a uh, force so it shows that 
the force to the downside is too much why because you can see the tail above is too big meaning the price was somewhere up there but the force to the downside pushed it down and forced it to close here or to close here so this thing yeah the tail being above it shows that the force to the downside is quite strong so if that force does not continue and take out the, the thing the lowest point of that pin bar then it's pointless in this case we did go outside the pin bar and eventually we did carry on like that right, right. the same with what with this this one here force to the downside is too much and we can see we are located there at the high there so we, we sort of forming a pin bar at the high and we dropped and then this one is the one where we're saying we are undecided here no one it's not bearish it's not bullish is that there uh, is just an uh, indecisive uh, for, uh, force so there's equal pressure to the upside to the downside so usually in this type of a uh, pin banner if you come below this then we're gonna drop to that direction if you come above it we cannot go above the direction so the undecided bar we can see it with what equal taste it's a pin bar it's a small body and the tails on both sides is sort of sort of equal that's undecided and decision you can see the indecision sorry then whichever direction you break into we lean towards that yeah so on weekly we don't have much happening we formed this pin bar last week we were hoping that it will give us something and at least come here and then it failed it failed to protect it's what it's force and then they broke to the downside so the best on weekly they are still very much convincing at the, us that they can come to our biggest area of interest right, one then let's check daily on daily we can say that last week was it last week or that other week we found this pin bar we tried to go up mara we didn't even get there or we didn't even break uh we didn't even break uh daily trend line which was here we didn't even we sort of tried to approach it and then we just turned and made a new low when you make a new law, remember the trick is that you must use this point. This has to be your last, your second dot or the last dot that you use to do the trend line. Then look for the next one. The nearest one is this. So your trend line on daily currently, it looks like that. Right, so daily is bearish. Mala. As much as it formed this low, it failed to close up below it. It failed to close below it and we closed above. Then we formed what? from the pin bar Mara, this pin bar it, it's we are just failing to go above it right? so it's and it's pointless so this pin bar even if you try to buy using it it has a lot of resistance against it number one number one we uh we haven't reached sort of uh reached above the range of this pin bar that's the re reaction moment the thing the, the resistance number one the thing that is pushing out forcing us to go down number two we haven't broken the the, the, the daily trend line remember the daily trend line is there the daily trend line we can try and buy and then we hit the we are fighting to get above these and we are fighting to get above the trend line so that's just something that i don't think it's it's worth your energy so but if you find an entry so what i mean by that if you find an entry somewhere here when you get to the trend line or at the peak of our our our, our pin bar, I remember the daily pin bar is like this and it's failing to go above. So if you get an entry there, this space should be enough for you to exit. Especially if you are trading on smaller time frames, this space should be at least three to one. Then you know you are done. You don't have to try and predict that the the the, the, the trend line is gonna be broken or the price is gonna go above this. So when I get your three to one exit, ne? So if you go down to lower time frames and we find an entry. Here we are going out somewhere there. So let's just put an horizontal line so that when we are moving down to smaller time frames, the area that I'm saying you must exit, you must exit there. It's here. It's here. Ne? I carry the, 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 the trend line is here. So somewhere there, around this level, we must exit. Or at the trend line, we must exit. So let's go down to h4 h4 that's where we were currently and okay let's put the daily trend line so that we can compare it with the h4 and see which one it's, it's gonna be hit first most probably the h4 one because remember the structure on h4 is quicker than the structure on daily so that's our you no know, this was our daily trend line before we made a new low now we made a new low it must be updated the current 
trend line your daily look something like this good people it's very very important that you update your trend line otherwise you won't get you won't know when the price has broken the trend line if you just keep it up there and the price has moved far away from it you don't update it you're going to get false signals now so let's go back to page four this trend line on daily it must join that high so this is a daily trend line this is our daily trend line this is our h4 trend line remember i said each time frame you must treat it as an individual time frame this the structure that i drew on 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 one time frame does not mean it must overlap to the other side what it means scoring i get trader on the other side i must keep mind of it or no kind of on that time frame we have this i can remember we are using multiple time frames to trade and to analyze so i get trader if i'm trading h4 and i'm buying ne? i cannot buy and then neglect this guy and this guy because remember i'm saying they are exerting what they they, they are putting a bearish force so I get trade when I get there, take my profits I'm out. If the market breaks out, then I can say if it gives me a buy, I'm buying. When I get there, I don't have to act like a magician. I take my profits, I'm out. So remember, that's that's how you make money. That's how you, you don't have to force and say, you know, those people who say I'm buying here, I'm going to exit all the way there. It can do that. Mara, you must be controlled by what? By the structure. You can use what? You can use a... Uh, you can use if let's say you take a buy and you don't want to close here if you have if it gives you a demand here before or like, what's this the the, the 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 support here the support area before something call it demand before it hits there you can put your, your stop loss below the, the the recent one and say just in case it can play around and then take off so you can close some of your trades and then leave this one here or you can also use what your channel line if it does this and then does this and then it hits there you can put your trend line and say, I'm putting my stop loss there. For the price to reach my stop loss, it must first break the break, the trend line. And when it breaks the trend line, it means I'm no longer bullish. So it did well by taking my bullish trade out because I can't be holding a bullish trade if the structure is no longer bullish. Right, man. So here, what do we have, guys? Well, how do you... What's our conclusion here, guys? What's our conclusion? Our conclusion is that we hit uh, the resistance area and we are playing outside the trend line so h4 is basically in consolidation in consolidation it will be in an uptrend the day it breaks the sub because remember when we're in uptrend we're doing what we are breaking resistance areas we are forming support areas formed 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 and then the old resistance broken 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 whatever so the day it breaks the resistance we can say now we are moved from consolidation to being bullish. And the day it breaks the, the, the support, we can say we have moved from being in consolidation to being uh, back to what? To, 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 to bearish. Then remember, if it breaks the support and forms a new low, this high has to be part of the trend line. So the trend line will come there. I hope this makes sense, guys. So currently, consolidation which is not a good thing to take trades and but someone could have tried and forced the trade here because we are saying the best uh, they, 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 they are they are most likely to win in this case for as long as the price doesn't do what for as long as the price doesn't come above our pin bar then the best are, uh, have a higher chance of winning then let's do H1 which is our last time frame so on H1, hey, there's nothing much happening here. H1 trend line will still look the same as the H4 trend line, which is this one. And then, yes, it will still look like this. And we can see here that we had a gap. I think this is when the market opened. We had a gap. So this, this, uh, and this, you can see that this is not a smooth bar, this one. So this can offer what support, and it is going to be very strong. Why? Because it formed what a pin. I mean, it formed the gap. So the support that results in a gap is very strong. So the price, when it comes back, it is most likely to react to it. But I in this case, even if I wanted to buy from here, even if I wanted to buy from here, I don't have enough room for me to sell or exit here. It's not worth it. Look at the space. I'm risking. Maybe I'm risking fifteen to make eight. So it's not worth it. I don't have enough profit margin. 
because if you had broken this at least i know that the next resistance i'll have is a trend line at least that would be a decent thing for me to trade why run so unless if you're going to get your entry on my m50 dipanya and then you know a risk is small this can give you a three to one then you're out i run so that's why you need to pick your time frames and stick to them so let's just check the m15 for the sake of it in j so on m15 you can see that 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 gap came from this so if you want to take your chances there you are more than welcome to but it's on you guys it's on you so if you take it here and if you take it from here ne? and then it goes up this is still our area of resistance this even this if i'm using m15 this is still our area of resistance so this gray one this big one remember it's an area of resistance what on on, on h4 and on m15 we will draw it like this remember i said each time frame treat it as an individual time frame so we have our resistance uh, resistance area here on a on m15 which is located inside our h4 so they are both at the same level mara the way we draw them it will depend it will it will define because of our structures not the same on h4 and in, on m15 so if you're getting your buy from there guys exit here exit take your profit wait for the price to decide on what it wants to do why one so that's it guys but now my biggest wish i would never you know wish i'm still wishing all the price can come here that's my biggest wish why one so when if you are trading with my m15 this is your area for you to try and take your chances it resulted in a nice gap there and the gap is now being filled so if this can just touch here then maybe it will give you an entry and then you go and exit up there Ivan, and if it gets broken, that's on you, good people. Now I wish we can continue dropping because the bigger time frames in Yana they are pointing to the downside. We have hit this and we've got from the rejection bar and we've came below it. So I think we still have a chance to, even though we failed to protect our bearish trend line. So maybe that is something that you can lean on and say, no, the H4 trend line has been broken. Now I'm going to buy. I'm no longer. Uh, scared of the people pushing to the downside because the adrenaline line has been broken you can go with that narrative mal it can work for you but at least if you took a loss you know the loss is gonna be quite small and it's what you can you know if you are account allows then you can take an exit there all right i'll try and update again uh, alongside this week maybe wednesday when the structure is is more you know new bars and stuff like that so i hope you have learned something guys that's how you should approach the markets so don't forget to like and subscribe and then I'll see you on the next one. Cheers guys.